Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. And you know how some of our plants need help from insects and birds, especially when they're really young and I make the covers out of placemats and tote lids or whatever plastic I've got? Well, you can make them out of food containers as well. Look at this. Let me show you how easy it is and why I had to do this. Well, I had a cutting of a purple curly kale, one of my favorite, which was absolutely beautiful. Well, something came along and chewed the whole top off. So what I did was I laid some tool on top and that did stop whatever was doing it. But here's the thing, it's not gonna stay. And I found this old scooper that I wasn't using just from a soap container. And I thought, wait a minute, it needs vent. It needs air holes. So let's take this in the house and let's fix it because it fits on that perfect to give that plant another start. So what I did is I cut out some holes with a small scissor, see, very simple, but I kept that plastic. So you just can cut out the amount you want. I could have cut more, but you know, that'll work. Now remember, if you're using a new container, you'll wanna cut the bottom off. This one didn't have a bottom because I was using it as a scooper. Now I had some old tool laying around. We'll come back to the plastic that I saved soon. This is so easy. All I had to do here was drape some tool over the scooper, over the container. As you'll see, really cool. I put the cap back on. Now it is holding the tool. Now, if you want to, you could leave it like that, and just tuck it in the flower pot, but I'm gonna do more here. So here, I just went ahead and figured out which would be the best way to get the tool to cover those cuts openings in the plastic, because we don't want the insects to get in there, and we don't want birds to stick their head in there and eat it. So I draped it over, and then I just started to staple it. Now, that stapler I'm using, by the way, is a paper stapler. It's not a tool like you have in your garage. It is a paper stapler, but it's made like a pliers. And it works fantastic, it's easier for me to use, and you can buy them cheap. They're under $15 usually. All I'm doing here is going to trim off the excess. This is why I keep old tool around, because you never know where I'm going to use it. Oh, out the window, but guess what? It didn't go far. So now, I'm gonna finish stapling. Remember those plastics I kept? See them? They're still there. I made legs. I cut them in the strips and I'm going to staple them on, on top of the tool. So they're gonna hold the tool in place. But at the same time, it will go into the soil in the flower pot and keep it steady. It works fantastic, look at that, you just put it on. So drape your tool on, kinda of get it a little snug and you can fold it if you want, put it on the outside because we have plenty of room. The pot was a little bigger than this anyway, so I can fold it on the outside. If it was a real tight fit, you'd wanna put the tool more tucked underneath the container. So it depends on your vessel that you're putting it on. But that's all there is to it. You don't need anything. Just a food container, a soap container, something that's gonna fit on top of your flower pot wherever you've got your plants growing, whether it's seedlings or just a small plant, and then just make the holes, drape some tool over it, use the cap if you've got it as an extra hole for your tool, staple on the little legs, and then that is it. You're done. And what did it cost you? I don't know. The tool was probably five cents maybe, and maybe you've got some in your closet off of some clothing you might have had. Look at that. Is that cool or what? That can stay there now until the plant is big enough and whatever was bothering it won't bother it anymore. So now let's get this outside and cover that poor plant so we can grow into a big, beautiful plant. So let's take that little piece of scrap tool off and now we can put the new cover on. That plant's gonna be so happy. Look at that, it's got airflow in it. It's got the sun shining through. It can get a little bit of rain if it rains on it but no insects, no birds, no rodents, nothing's gonna bother it. You can always stick some sticks inside the pot if you wanted to tie it on a little tighter, but you know, this is perfect. That plant had no leaves on it until I put that scrappy little tool on, but now it's showing off a brand new cover and that should be one happy plant. And I love these plants. You could do this to any of the plants you're growing, whether starting lettuce or seedlings. If you need to make covers, look at what you've got. So now you see how easy it is to make a DIY cover for your plants, especially when they're small and vulnerable and not knowing who's gonna come take a chomp out of them. You can use any container. Here is a gallon water jug or milk jug. This will do the same thing. You could cut it out. You could screw on the top if you still have the top, the tool, and that will hold in place. Couple staples, 
and you've got yourself another cover. It's a good temporary cover and it doesn't cost you anything, just a little piece of tool. But you know what, for this one, I'd rather just use this one as my watering can to water my baby seedlings instead. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Okay, it's time to feed you guys again. You think that's enough? I've got all this behind me too. Not counting on my back. Oh, and I wanted you to see this. I caught this through the window when I was done. See that? Mom has brought a couple of her babies to come learn how to feed on the feeder. That's what she does. Isn't that cute? This is too precious. This is going to have so many babies. Oh, hundreds of babies. Thousands?